Well, hello scrappers, welcome back to my channel, Mike here. Um, got a little bit of an unboxing video today. A um, friend of mine, who prefers to remain anonymous, um, gave me a really good deal on this stuff. But interestingly, it was on the contingency that I made a couple videos out of it. And I think this stuff is worthy of a couple of videos, a couple of different types of videos. First off, we're going to do an unboxing video. Also did a short. So, um, but we're going to do a little bit longer form video on this and get a closer look at uh, what's on these boards. Um, not sure why my friend wants to remain anonymous. Um, I have several friends, acquaintances, who have contributed greatly to my videos over the years, but they prefer not to appear in them or even have their names mentioned. Kind of odd to me. Maybe that's a commentary on the quality of my videos. I don't know. Maybe they're just not as big of hams as I am to appear, want to appear on camera. Anyway, whatever. Thank you for giving me a good deal on this stuff. I mean, it's, it's not super high grade, but it's pretty good stuff. We got a whole bunch of telecom boards here. Older. I would say these are pretty darn old. They're mostly telephone related telecom boards. I could tell by the components on them. But I've uh, got lots of gold fingers. Yeah, just about all these boards have gold fingers on them. Uh, IC chips, various components, some kind of conformally coded modules. Not sure what's in there. Don't know if there's any value to them or not. There's probably at least some. I'll have to bust some up and see what's inside. You know, after I depopulate these boards. Okay, so yeah, there's some torrids, lots of transformers. Uh, what do we got here? 15 megahertz uh, crystal oscillator, IC chips. All, lot, all these boards also have a lot of uh, dip switches on them. And uh, dip switches, I have found, contain a lot of gold. Sometimes they'll have little gold BBs inside them for making the contacts. So dip switches, good stuff. So here's another board. This one doesn't have gold fingers as Eurocard connectors, but they have gold um, pins inside them. But look at this board. It is just absolutely loaded with IC chips. I mean, just packed to the gills with them. This is an older school board. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of gold in those IC chips. I will depopulate these boards. You know, I depopulate my boards in a kiln. Just put the boards in a kiln, raise the temperature of the kiln up above the melting point of solder, and, you know, give the boards a few shakes, and pretty much everything just falls right off. Easy peasy. So, uh, yeah, I'll be depopulating these boards and getting all these lovely IC chips and other bits and pieces off of them. Uh, another board with fingers. Uh, you can tell this is a telephone board. It's got all these line isolation and matching transformers on it. Lots of torrids, lots of capacitors. Uh, but interestingly, this board has some stuff on it I want to salvage for uh, my electronics projects. You know, I have an entire second channel um, related to electronics and retro computing. And this board here has some good stuff on it. It's got a it's got a one tenth farad super capacitor over here for power backup, I'm sure. It's got an eight megahertz CMOS Z80 chip on it. In fact, a lot of these boards have eight megahertz CMOS Z80 chips on them. So nice. Got some EEPROM chips, uh, miscellaneous other glue logic. Um, another thing that these boards have that might come in handy for my other projects, it's got a bunch of these um, MOSFETs up here. They are SK 817s. Yeah, SK 817 MOSFETs up here. So they, I imagine these were used for voltage regulation. So, uh, yeah, these would come in really handy for some of my projects. So what I'm probably going to do is um, I'll depopulate these boards for the most part in the kiln, but I think what I'll do is I'll be kind of delicate and go after them with a heat gun first. And, uh, you know, well, the order I'll do it. The order I'll do it, of course, I will get the gold fingers off, okay? I want to get the gold fingers before I do anything else. Uh, because if I pop these in the kiln with the gold fingers on them, the solder back here could melt and run across them. Oh my! Look at all the MLCCs on the back of that board. Holy cow. They're pretty small, but there's a whole, whole lot of them. Wow. Okay. Nice. So um, I'll get the fingers first. I'll just break those off so that solder doesn't run across them and entomb the gold inside. And then uh, uh, what I'll do is I'll take a heat gun and I'll pull out the pieces that I want 
gently, delicately. Um, I'll probably get these, uh, at least some of these. I don't know how many of them I need for my projects. There's a lot of them here between all these boards. But I'll get some of these MOSFETs, uh, get some of these super capacitors. I will pull out some of these, maybe all of the uh, uh, 8 megahertz CMOS Z80 chips. And I'll look around and see if there's any other interesting components on here I may want. I might want a few of the capacitors, resistors, whatnot for my projects. And then once I pull off everything I want for my projects, I'll just pop these in the kiln and just depopulate everything else off of them. So here's another board that's pretty much a carbon copy of the last one. Ah, this board right here. Oh, this board. Wow. Will you look at the MLCCs on this board? They're huge. And there's... There must be 50 of them on each side. Wow. And I'll tell you what. There may be some gold plating on the edges of them, too. Looks like all those MLCCs may have some gold plating on the edge. Those are... I haven't seen that before. Gold plating on the contacts of MLCCs. Leave a comment if you've seen that before, because I think that's what's going on there. Interesting. And we got a lot of little tiny relays here. Some more uh, encapsulated modules. Uh, oh, yeah, lots of tiny MLCCs on the back. Hundreds of them. Okay, lots of IC chips. Okay, nice board again. We got gold fingers too. Nice board. Another board with uh, gold fingers. This looks like the first board only with different kind of modules on it. So, yeah. Not much on the back. No MLCCs on the back. Um, oh, look at this. Another finger board here. Uh, another C80. Uh, yeah, 8 megahertz um, CMOS. Uh, lots of other chips on here to harvest. Lots of dip switches, which almost certainly are going to contain a fair amount of gold. Nothing much useful on the back, but that's a nice board. That's a nice board. Uh, another board with all these little uh, encapsulated modules on it. Not much on the back. Another one of these boards. Got more MOSFETs, another Z80, another super capacitor, lots of MLCCs on the back, lots of miscellaneous components on the front. Here's another board. Yeah, the last couple boards, well, a lot of them actually, now that I look at them, have a row of LEDs across the top. A lot of LEDs. Uh, LEDs all contain a little whisker of gold and, uh, and some silver in them. And um, in the past, I've done a video on collecting gold and silver from LED chips. I found out that even if you process a huge amount of them, it's really not worth the effort. But it's, there's too much there to just throw away, gold and silver-wise. So what I do is um, I, put, my, um, I put, put the LEDs in with my IC chips and I process them with the IC chips. That way I don't lose what gold and silver is there. But, um, you know, collecting them, you know, it's just not worth the effort to just do them alone. Um, got some opto-isolators on this board. I might want to salvage a few for my projects, too. Um, a lot of little relays. I will have to research these relays and see if they're at all useful for any of my projects. I don't know. There might be silver contacts in them. They might be... Uh... So there's a lot of relays here. Yeah, between all these boards, there's a fair number of relays. There might be worth uh, saving them for silver. Getting the silver out of them. More dip switches down here. Dip switches up here. Another Z80 chip. Um, a lot of little transformers. The transformers, they add a lot of weight to the board, but really not a whole lot of value. Yeah, there's some really fine copper wire in them and some iron, and that's about it. But, uh, boy, unwinding all these little tiny transformers to get the copper out. That'd be a good project to put a kid on, but I don't think I want to waste my time on it. So, let's see. Another, another board, fingers, super capacitor, Z80, transformers, capacitors, MOSFETs, MLCCs. Nice. Oh, did this board have MLCCs on the back? Yeah, it's got some. Got got chips on the back too. Nice. Okay. Uh, another uh, another one of these Euro card boards. This was probably the management card with the main processor on it. 
And not much going on on the back of it, but boy, there's a whole lot going on on the front. I love IC chips. They are they are my favorite thing in the world because they're full of gold. Another board full of uh, relays and IC chips and uh, capacitors, whatnot, transformers. Got chips on the back and MLCCs. Nice. Yeah, so here's another one. He's got, got a lot of these type boards. So yeah, these would have interfaced um, telephone lines. Each of these, I think, would have interfaced a telephone line. So it looks like uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, like 16 lines on each of these cards. It could interface. MLCC's on the back. Uh, Z80 on the front. Supercapacitor, MOSFETs again, and all the usual stuff. Uh, another board with uh, these encapsulated modules on it. I'm going to have to crush those up and just see what if anything good is in them. It's hard, can't tell looking at them. No idea. But I'll bet there's probably some transistors, maybe some small ICs in there. There's probably some, some gold bond wires to be had. Who knows, maybe silver traces. Could be anything under that conformal coating. Who knows? And another one of these boards. Got a lot of these kind of boards. Nice. Very nice. Ooh, this board. Uh, this board looks like it must have been towards the fan. Everything's covered with dust and crud. Uh, but wow. Okay, we got another Z80. Got a lot of uh, encapsulated modules, a lot of transformers, a lot of um, relays. But boy, have we got a lot of dip switches on this board. And up here too. Yeah, wow. A lot of dip switches. Nothing really going on in the back of the board, but... Wow, and then I, you know, I would really like to know what's under these, the conformal coating on these modules. Okay, interesting. Interesting. Okay, I want to give a big thanks to my buddy for giving me a deal on this stuff. Even though he's camera shy and doesn't want to acknowledge it to my audience but hey this is this is good stuff so um, I will uh, I'll get to work on this stuff I will uh, cut off the gold fingers on all these boards and set those aside probably for the next time I uh, mix up a batch of eco gold decks I'll uh, I'll strip the gold plating off of them that way and then um, I will uh, get my heat gun out and start pulling components off that I want off of these boards, like these lovely 8 megahertz Z80 CPUs, a few other things. And uh, then the rest of the boards, they can go in the kiln. I'll pull some of the plastic stuff off, like these, uh, these board extractors. I'll pull that plastic off so that it doesn't melt in the kiln and run down over the components. Oh, look at all the MLCCs. Those will all come off in the kiln, too. Nice. Very nice. Oh, I wish all the boards had so many MLCCs on it. Looks like only this one. Well, maybe my buddy kept the really good ones for himself. I don't know. But he gave me some good ones. So, yeah, I'll get the heat gun out, take some parts off, get those gold fingers off, take the plasticky stuff off and then the rest of it can go in the kiln get depopulated and then uh, we'll sort out the bits and extract the uh, the gold and other precious metals from them this will keep me busy for a little while may get another video or so out of it yeah well some of these boards might well show up in some of my mystery boxes too they're just the right size to fit in a flat rate box check out my mystery boxes I'll put a link down in the uh, in the description to where you can get those if you're interested. Wow, this is some good stuff. Okay, I hope you found this uh, unboxing and look at my uh, latest uh, scrap porn. Uh, interesting, educational, informative, inspirational, whatever. Give the video a like, give it a thumbs up, and subscribe to see my future videos. And uh, check out my second channel, Electric Geek 64. There will probably be a video or two come out of this stuff that's going to appear over there on the second channel as I harvest these goodies and reuse them. And uh, like, subscribe, comment both places and press that little bell icon in both places that YouTube wants you to press. 
to be notified when new videos are released because if you are a subscriber in either or both of my channels you'll be notified when I release a new video so press that little bell icon mash it hard and thanks for watching I'll see you in the next video bye